My name is Michael Tallman, and I'm a member of the Calculus Video Project team. In this video, I'm going to provide a brief overview of quantitative reasoning. A consistent emphasis on quantitative reasoning distinguishes our videos from many other video lessons available online. Understanding what it means to reason quantitatively is essential to effectively integrating our calculus videos and their supporting materials into your teaching. The theory of quantitative reasoning was developed by Patrick Thompson, a mathematics education researcher at Arizona State University. Since Dr. Thompson's initial articulation of the theory in the early 1990s, several mathematics educators have documented the significance of quantitative reasoning for supporting students' construction of foundational ideas in several areas of mathematics. A quantity is an attribute or quality of an object that can be measured. My height, for example, is a quantity. Although I am 67 inches tall, 67 inches is not a quantity. 67 inches is a measure of my height in a particular unit. My height is the attribute being measured and is thus the quantity. Quantitative reasoning is therefore reasoning about measurable attributes of objects and their relationships to one another. A common misconception about quantitative reasoning is that it applies only to reasoning about word problems. It is true that quantitative reasoning is necessary to make sense of applied contexts, but quantitative reasoning is also relevant when interpreting functions, graphs, and formulas. Consider as an example the idea of angle measure. An angle's measure is a quantification of a class of subtended arc lengths, each measured in units proportional to the circumference of the circle containing the subtended arc. To say an angle has a measure of 57 degrees means the angle subtends a class of arcs, each of which is 57 times as long as 1 360th of the circumference of the respective circle containing it. Similarly, to say an angle has a measure of 2.1 radians means that the angle subtends a class of arcs that are each 2.1 times as long as the radius of the respective arc. Notice that these interpretations of angle measure in degrees and radians both identify the same attribute being measured, subtended arc length, and they identify a unit of measure. I mention angle measure simply to highlight the role of quantitative reasoning in constructing a meaningful understanding of even a basic mathematical idea. It is important to emphasize that quantities are cognitive constructions. They don't reside in contexts, situations, or objects, but in the mind of an individual conceiving a context, situation, or object. Constructing a quantity involves identifying a particular measurable attribute of an object, conceiving a unit of measure, and conceptualizing a measurement process. Sometimes conceiving a unit of measure and envisioning a measurement process is rather straightforward, as in the case of constructing my height as a quantity. But for other quantities like temperature, torque, and viscosity, conceiving a unit of measure and conceptualizing a measurement process can be challenging. Students' ability to interpret mathematical expressions as representations of quantities and to conceive equations and graphs as representations of the relationship between covariant quantities is essential to their ability to construct a meaningful understanding of the foundational ideas of calculus. In the companion to this video, I'll explain what it means to construct a quantitative understanding of the two most central ideas in single variable calculus, differentiation and integration.